a Gemini's. My Yanny ain't Gemini's. Yeah. What's going on, twins? What's popping in the life of a Gemini for January 2019? Y'all, happy new year. I pray that you brought it in with many abundance, with much abundance, many blessings. You guys claiming much prosperity and victory this year. Y'all, it's been a hell of a year, 2018. But guess what? <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it. Who made it? You made it. What you mean? <laughs> hey boo hey if this is your first time to my channel i'm mocha also look out if this is your first time to my channel y'all i cuss okay so if cussing don't work out for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on youtube that can better assist you with giving you clear messages as well without the cussing all right and i love you long time i don't love you any less family uh, new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we a little dysfunctional we don't fight a fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel <laughs> okay we won't do that shit over here but we do love we share we grow we enlighten y'all we evolve positive shit only all right so you guys this again will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of gemini i'm very excited to see what the hell is up in here because my venus is in gemini Okay. So we're going to rock, all right? If you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description below. I am taking a break break, all right? So there will not be any mid-month. I apologize, y'all, but I'll be right back in fast and furious for the month of February, and we rocking. I am going to um, resume on taking readings. Well, I'm sorry, resume. Push pause on taking readings after the 10th of January. I currently have a $15 off special for my 30 to 60, my 30 through 60 minute sessions. So if you need a personal reading, you guys definitely go ahead and get your readings in. All right. I am available. All right. So let's get it for my Gemini. This is general. It's not personal. Uh, take whatever applies. Y'all, please leave the rest. I shouldn't have to say it, but y'all will be surprised in reader land. All right. So we're going to rock. All right. You guys. This, the energy that I really picked up even before I even deal with cars, I picked up newness. I just really wanted to feel the sense of newness, okay? Some of you all, I'm also hearing new vehicles. Some of you all may be purchasing new homes. Some of you all may be actually um, getting jobs during this time. Some of you all, I heard government, okay? So some of you guys could be receiving some type of government jobs, or I also heard advancement. I also heard transfer. So some of you guys may be transferring to other places. You're just really in the, in the place of new, but it's a new with reflection of where you've been to learn, you know, with how to move with where you're going forward, all right? So we're going to rock. All right, so the Archangel message that you guys pulled for the month of January will be life review told your reflection okay you guys this message comes from archangel um jeremiel all right and i saw i'm sorry that the view sucks but you guys i'm moving to my place on wednesday so i'm really excited so i'm trying to get all of these videos up because i know i'm getting ready to be moving in my breaks i ain't really gonna be able to break break but i'm gonna be able to break a little all right so you guys got take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced, okay? So I feel like during this time, Gemini's really in reflection, you know, um, pretty much where I've been. And instead of looking at situations of who hurt me, on the cool, just look at it as what did you learn from it, you know? How did it help you or assist you to grow? And how some, and you, some of you guys, you're realizing that, you know, I can't be mad at your ass. You was the catalyst to my growth. So with that said, you know, I forgive you. It's unconditional love. And really learning people, learning how to love people from, um more so of a 5d heart space unconditional love taking the good with the bad knowing you know not allowing people to just play the game but you know kind of being in acceptance you know in the well pretty much amongst the self and really kind of securing and protecting your energy in the midst of other people especially if it's people who you can't avoid like people who you work with and things of that nature some of you guys actually maybe just be walking out of a job and just really trusting in um, your own ability with your business endeavor and trusting in your creativity and spirit is saying that you guys are going to see great prosperous energy from that all right so it's truly about trusting in the trusting in your damn self period all right some of you guys i wasn't having any issues with the throat chakra until i started actually recording gemini and so some of you guys may be finding it hard to actually say some of the things that you have to say to people. I mean, and I feel like it's coming from a balanced space more so if I don't want to hurt your feelings. But at the same time, what I need, what I'm requiring, the things that matter to me truly matter. So with that said, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm um, not sorry, you know, for wanting to be happy. All right. Let's get into the spirit message. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini's, my twins? <laughs> for the month of January 2000. 19. 
What messages do we have on our Gmail? All right, so we don't get it. Yeah, some of you guys are actually stepping into your life purpose. Some of you all are kind of in reflection of kind of where you've been and am I on the right path? It looks to me, some of you some of you guys who are questioning, are you on the right path? Yes, you are on the right path. Some of you all are spiritual teachers, okay? And so because of that, you're kind of evolving. Some of you all may during this time um, also have this need to shift your diet. For those of you who... Um, do any type of like near magic or you do any type of water magic, water goddesses who I'm speaking to, I feel that this is a great time for you to actually put out uh, what it is that you're actually wanting to manifest, all right? For some of you all who are using the solar eclipse energy positively, all right, you definitely will be writing down um, your affirmations. Some of you all will definitely be going through detoxes and cleanses, okay? And some of you all are definitely, again, stepping in this purpose, you know, of being a spiritual teacher. So some of you all have may, may have been debating on, you know, should I start me a YouTube page? Should I want, you know, should I help others? A lot of you all during this time are simply allowing your light to just shine. You're coming from a loving space and everything that you do. And I feel like with that, you really needed to still protect your energy in a sense and try not to overgive during this time, okay? Yeah, some of you all, you're a spiritual teacher. And some of you guys, it definitely has, to, we are needing you, okay, to share your light, share your enlightenment. One thing I love about Gemini's is the fact that you guys are very authentic. You're very honest, okay, whether it's good or bad. No, ain't no telling what the hell gonna come out their mouth because my son is a Gemini. But with that said, just because some of the things that come out of his mouth is negative, it does not mean that they are not true. So it's not what you say I'm feeling during this time. It's how you say it with this king of air. Some of you guys are going to be receiving um, spiritual downloads. For those of you, again, who are water goddesses during this time, some of you all may need to, um, some of y'all are going to be just really kind of cleansing your energy. And I feel like through the month of January, some of you guys are going to receive a badass download. Possibly I'm hearing past life recognition, okay? So some of you guys may be doing your dreams or through some form of astral travel, okay? I feel going kind of tapping back and forth from this life and past lives to kind of find what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And for some of you all, you're going to find that you're healers, okay? You're here to actually, some of y'all are light workers. And I feel like whatever you're doing right now, if you're feeling out of place, it's really, 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 spirit is calling you home and they're calling you home kind of with new eyes. You know, how do you really look at what do you do? What, what, what you actually do for a living? Do you love it? How does it internally make you feel? Do you work a job where you're required to kind of tell people or omit truths? Okay. And it's maybe starting to affect you because you're a spiritual teacher. You move in the spirit of truth. And so it's really not authentic to you so I feel like if you're feeling uncomfortable during this time you really need to write down what it is that you're really really wanting to do and really reflect on you know what it is that really makes your soul be kind of in this warm place Gemini and I feel like this warm place of more so growth and acceptance you know, I feel like growing because you're kind of accepting the fact that what the fuck you're doing ain't for you. And you're understanding that you're having to step out there on faith and truly allow the universe to move for you. And I feel like we're making this move during this solar eclipse energy, as well as this new moon and Capricorn energy is definitely going to be very beneficial to you. You got to just get out of that place of fear. Okay. Yeah. Some of you all, you will receive some type of help. Okay. There may be someone older. There may be an older woman. All right. And some of you guys, this energy that may be assisting you in trying to um, assist, assisting you in kind of paving your movement, paving the path to your movement forward. So for some of you, all, it could be just as simple as uh, maybe like if you're looking to move to a new place, it could be someone uh, referring you to maybe like someone who's a real estate. Or for those of you, I'm also hearing evictions. For those of you who have any type of um like negative things on your name, you may be running into some type of, um, maybe this could be an attorney, this could be someone who is, um, for some of y'all, it could also be some of y'all going to, some of y'all, and I'm going to straight up say it, some of y'all are using spell work in order to get your way during this time, ain't nothing wrong with it, just make sure you're coming from a place of love and light, and a place of, just watch where your intention is coming from, okay, because that also has a, a, a damn flip side to it, Gemini. Yeah, some of you guys, some of y'all are coming into spiritual union with yourself, this balancing of the masculine and the feminine. Some of y'all are fusing them damn faces to become one so you can stop being so finicky all the damn time. Because some of y'all are very finicky. I love Gemini's. I, 
Take one to know when I told you I got Gemini Venus and it's above my degree high as hell in that shit. Astrology wise. So let me tell you, baby, <laughs> I posted on my Facebook the other day. I can go from boot up to return of the Mac on your ass quickly. Okay. I don't play play. All right. So with that said, Gemini, a lot of you guys are really kind of coming into harmony within yourself to truly be able to answer that question. Because I've been asking y'all that for a long time. Gemini, what the hell do you want? What do you want, my babies? And for some of you all, it's truly love, but you're able to accept it because things are aligning within you or you're able to see the world from a space of love. And for some of you all, you really, some of you guys during this time are really going to be speaking up, speaking out about injustices or speaking up, speaking up against like religious groups or speaking out against um, organizations that you feel is um, any type of like, that stand for anything demeaning or anything, um, how can I say, misogynist or a lot of you guys are really going to be speaking out for the injustices of people who you feel really can't defend themselves during this time. Some of y'all are really going to be very given to the homeless as well. Good shit, Gemini. I like this energy. Some of you all are in love. You're in love, 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 love. You're in love, my babies. And it's okay. For some of you all, there is a divine partnership trying to take, uh, trying to form, okay? And I feel like the love space is coming from you. So for some of you all, you attracted this. And for some of y'all, it's coming in the form of a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But there's definitely a decision that's needed to be made. I feel like, Gemini, you know that you're going to have to make a decision that could really alter the path of your life for it. I feel like really for a beautiful change, but I feel like for some of you all, you're kind of afraid to make that move. And intuitively, some of y'all could actually be dreaming this during this time. Some of y'all could actually be seeing your future going forward with this divine partnership. However, you know that you're going to have to release something. I'm hearing marriages. I'm also hearing... um. I'm hearing family dynamics. So for some of you all, you're having to choose um, really kind of where you want it, where the hell you want to go, what move you want to make, my babies. For some of you all, you in this beautiful energy. The a lot of y'all are going to be very passionate during this time. Some of y'all are really going to be very, very, very fiery with communication. So watch your temper for some of y'all, okay? But things are definitely balancing out, you know, the way that they are supposed to go. Some of y'all are really needing to feel your way through situations versus actually communicating especially with making assumptions it's not best during this time to make assumptions and situations truly 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 ask the right questions in a way that's not offensive but in a way that before you ask your damn questions with people especially in some type of like corporate dynamic i feel that some y'all my mom used to tell my sister she's a gemini too roll the plane roll the damn plane gemini okay think about that shit Sometimes you may have to gargle some damn water. And okay, I didn't figure out how the hell I'm gonna ask this question. But I, there's definitely this need to really tune into the feels of yourself, the feminine energy. Tune into your emotions and don't rely so much on your intellect because I feel like some of you guys are very shifty in thought. Uh, for those of you who kind of feel like, what the hell is wrong with me? Why am I having these emotional roller coasters? Why am I? It's simply. When you're in a state of confusion, that state of confusion simply means there is something within you subconsciously that does not want to accept a truth that you already know or that does not want to accept the movement, that the momentum that is pretty much in rotation in your damn life. The momentum that is actually occurring within your life. And for some of you all, it's coming from a place of fear. And to be honest with you, fear not. Spirit is here. You just got to trust the process and stop being remorseful or looking back. Or what about them? Or what about them? Or what about them? Or what about the universe going to work it all out? That is not your job. Your part is <laughs> choosing what the hell it is that you want to do. Okay? So let's rock out. All right, so spirit, let's check on Gemini Shmani. Because I definitely felt, in the midst of actually shuffling the deck that I wanted to use for your finances, I'm going to shuffle again. Um, but in the midst of shuffling your decks, that damn Ace of Pentacles wants to keep falling out. So I definitely feel like for those of you who were, um, for those of you who are waiting for job opportunities to come about, for those of you who are looking for new careers, I definitely feel that January is definitely going to be a prosperous month and a successful month for you to get what you want. Just keep your manifestations, keep your... Um, thoughts and your beliefs in a positive place okay claim it before you claim it as if it's already yours all right so spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful gemini's for the month of january for their finances yeah some of you guys 
Like, again, some of y'all may be actually walking away from a job to actually focus on your own business endeavors or whatever it is that you're trying to create. And I feel like for some of you all, it's for someone who's been at their job for 10 months, 10 years. But some of you all, people at your job love you, so it's going to break their heart. But I feel like you got to really worry about what's best for you. Shit, caskets don't come with no, no damn bunk beds. Hell, they can't pay your damn bills. So I feel like... That that guilt that you may feel about leaving, because Gemini is a very loyal. When you guys start something, you guys really are not quitters. You don't like to quit. So you guys begin to judge yourself. Again, hey, yo, judge yourself. Do not beat yourself up for having to choose what's best for you, okay? But some of you all, I definitely feel like there's going to be, some of y'all could also be leaving y'all job due to some type of love affair, or maybe um somebody who you could have been dealing with at work. I feel like some of y'all could have had a separation with somebody who you're dealing with at work and it caused someone else to leave the job or caused you to want to leave your job. But some of you all, especially if you are a business owner, I feel like that was just simply a catalyst situation to make you actually make that move to move forward during this time because I definitely feel like for some of y'all, you just how it was kind of in that fixed energy, especially if you have any type of Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, um, or uh, what is it, Scorpio, in your moon or most of your rising, okay? Yeah. For some of you all, especially for those of you who are kind of holding on to a job but really, really trying to figure out how the hell you can give to both situations, I feel like for some of you all, you are going to be able to give to both situations. Some of y'all, definitely if your boss is a Virgo, a Pisces, a Libra, some of y'all better watch that motherfucker because during this time, their dirty little secrets can be outed and for some of y'all, they're willing to throw your ass under the bus. So if you feel, your intuition is telling you uh, that little birdie right there, <laughs> I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna chill in its nest. Yeah, with that, if you're feeling that, you're feeling that for a reason. So definitely trust those nudges during this time. You're really needing to feel your way through. For those of you who really been in your damn feelings about, oh, I can't create it. Well, maybe this won't be successful. Well, maybe it will. So don't think that way. Okay? For some of you all, whomever is, um, some y'all who've been waiting to receive some type of child support. Some of y'all are going to be receiving some unexpected child support. And I say unexpected because I definitely feel like some of you guys could have been worried about finances or worried about how you're going to actually like move forward from a relationship all the way because you're really kind of worried about some type of family dynamic or like separating, you know, your children from any like form of stability that they're used to. Some of y'all, there's a need for you not to damn worry because some of y'all don't see it coming, but some of you guys, your spouse actually may be filing child support. Some of y'all also may be dealing with some type of legal cases that definitely will go into your favor during this time. I feel like some of y'all have been waiting on that for quite some time. And some of you guys, yeah, there's some truth and clarity coming. Um, Could also be your partner, all right? Some of y'all gotta say it because I see it and spirit is saying justice okay and I'm also hearing infidelity so some y'all may who've been in your damn head about making a move or moving forward in a soulmate relationship but your heart is screaming but maybe you're tied to somebody else some y'all may be getting to get out of jail free card during this month financially due to somebody else's fuck ups and somebody receiving some unexpected child support papers coming to their house about what their partner's been doing this eclipse energy definitely is an energy of dirty little secrets okay so I definitely see positive energy around entrepreneurship for those of you who are any um thank you so much any of those those of you who are uh, waiting on to hear from government jobs those of you who are waiting on any type of uh bank loans or any type of uh I, I'm, I'm hearing loan applications from a financial uh, from, from financial institutions. If you guys have tried to put in those loan applications before and maybe that it was denied, I do see going forward. You got it, baby. Go for it. OK, for those of you who um, were waiting to hear and I'm also hearing grants. So for those of you, you really needed to do more information, do more research as far as grants. OK, those of you, some of y'all are really needing to do some research because I am hearing governmental assistance for you and it's leaps of faith baby believe in miracles some of you guys if you are getting let go from a job because it's still on top of that ten of swords it has to do with your transformation it's happening so you can move into more prosperous energy because I feel like for some of you all you settled all right some of you guys who were let go from a job in the past i'm here four months ago for some of you all it could have also been two weeks ago don't be surprised if this these uh, you'd moved on to a new place all right now you got this new opportunity and these other people changed their mind oh no 
you know, I well, we decided we was going to let you come back. And I feel like with some, whoever I'm talking to, this is a very toxic environment. Would you actually making a decision to move forward and just actually shift that dynamic and shift what it is that you're allowing and shift with? Because for some of you all, you manifested this change. I feel like your plans, your affirmations, your petitions that you put out, I feel I'm hearing um new moon, the last new moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarian energy is about momentum. It's about, uh, it's a philosophical energy. It's an alchemist energy. Some of you guys may be uh, dreaming also about uh, alchemic symbols during this time. It could be um, having to do with like geometric geometric symbols and it's some tied to some form of alchemy some of you guys are going through light activation shifts as well um for those of you who are newer intuitives for those of you who are evolving within the journey but we all still growing hell i'm still learning things through you all a lot you know so with that family some of you all need to truly uh research merkaba okay the merkaba light activation that also has to do with why the hell i'm going on my break all right so money definitely looks good for Gemini. I definitely feel that if you guys who are leaving jobs or who are kind of contemplating leaving uh, places where you've been feeling like you're trapped and you stuck at for quite some time, cut yourself down. Cut yourself free. Shit, it's many damn jobs for you to look at. Maybe it's the Aries in me, but I've been, I'm, I usually have about six or seven damn W-2s. Now, don't damn judge me because I'm able to stay somewhere for a long time. But when they get to get on my damn nerves and the job becomes to the point where I got to, <sighs> when I get up, oh, yeah, it's time to go. First time somebody say something to me, uh, where are my shades at? I don't got my shades. Bitch, I don't have to take this. <laughs> I'm going home. How about that? Shit. <laughs> Trap money, Danny. I don't play that. Do you understand? No, don't talk to me crazy. You got the right one, all right? So, you know, some people are more patient than others. It's a journey. I'm, I'm still working on me. You understand? Don't be like Mocha. Don't quit your job just and just be like, fuck them. Definitely have a backup plan. But I definitely see some of you all, this is kind of that push that you're needing, boom, for you to actually move on what it is that you're passionate about. One thing about passion, when you're creating from a place and you're actually doing something that you're passionate about, not only will it be, not only will it be prosperous for you, but it's going to be very productive for you because it's something that you actually give a damn about so that you actually have that persistence and that consistency that you need in order to keep pushing forward. All right. So let's see what's going on with my Gemini's in love. You guys feel free uh, also to timestamp the video for those of you who don't give a damn about finances. Your finances straight. You big bang hang up. Can I use a dollar? <laughs> Shit, 20 of them. 20 of them and we'll be all right. All right. So <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. I'm silly as all, all I damn those. I play all day. All right, so Spirit, what message do you have for my twins, my Geminis, in love for the month of January? What can they expect? Some of you guys have a new love after possibly cutting someone off. Some of you guys could also be cutting off a Leo. Some of y'all not really feeling the sign of Leo during this time after receiving some form of truth and clarity. And I feel like it's really some type of clarity from this person that, you know, I feel that someone really wants to move turtle slow. And Gemini needs to make a move right damn now. So it's causing some type of conflict within the within some type of relationship dynamic. And I feel like y'all are not really with the shits. Some of you guys are giving some type of truth and clarity possibly to an earth sign, all right? And it's going to start some shit. I must say, it's going to start some shit. This could definitely include, uh, have to do with the Pisces as well, okay? Or some of y'all could also be fighting with a Pisces person. But during this time, y'all cutting this shit off. But some of y'all, it's definitely something that you really wanted to manifest during this time that's really not coming into fruition. Some of y'all are cutting off a bitchy ass Aquarius during this time. You just can't deal with the person. All right. For some of you guys, you really want love with an Aquarian person. You could be starting over fresh with an Aquarian person, possibly after um some of y'all could actually be starting over with an Aquarian person. Possibly after cutting that damn Leo out. But I feel like with this Aquarian person, there's gonna be an issue with communication because this person seems to be very spoiled okay i'm not really hearing bossy i'm hearing very spoiled and they could be a bit manipulative okay so definitely be observing during this time stay woke all right don't let nobody play you boo all right some of you guys could also be finding out yeah some of y'all could also be receiving some type of financial assistance or some type of financial blessing from a virgo especially if you had children with this person okay i feel that for some of y'all you will uh, for some of y'all, you and this damn Virgo really wanted to, both of y'all want to split ways, okay? Some of you guys could be getting engaged. Congratulations. I definitely feel like this has to do with Earth energy, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys, I feel like with that Earth energy, 
some of you guys really want to take a moment to reflect during this time. I feel like there was, some of y'all had a third party situation going on in the past. I feel like somebody got cut out the third party, all right? But I feel like it put Gemini in this very reflective stage of what the fuck do I really want? Because this person who I cut out, maybe someone cut you out, Gemini, due to the fact that you were attached to someone else. But I definitely feel like there's this need for you to pull away from everybody. Some of you guys, I feel like I really wanted to travel during this time. Yeah, I wanted to go on a trip, but finances could definitely be an issue. I do see for some of you all. It's that lack mindset that's kind of keeping you guys kind of stuck and having financial issues. So you really need to speak that into your life. Make that a part of your damn affirmations every day. Actually write your petitions under the new moon energy, the full moon energy. Use the solar eclipse. You And I, I believe there's three of them. Um, there's one that happened, I believe, on the 5th. That full moon that's happening on the 20th or 21st. But I, think, I believe that full moon is some type of like super wolf moon or some shit where it's red. Y'all comment because I read some stuff when I have time. Um, but I definitely be having, you know, shit to do. <laughs> so... I, I, but I do remember seeing something like that, and I'm going to have to research it more to kind of see how it's going to affect the collective. If I see some key points uh, where it's going to be some type of soul activations or things of that nature that you guys need to know, y'all know I'm going to give you the tea. I'm going to post it, all right? So look out. Some of you guys are kind of ending karmic cycles, ending cycles with karmic partners, all right? For those of you who didn't leave that trash and leave that bullshit in 2018, some of y'all are that letting loose you couldn't lose all right some of y'all walking away from the sign of scorpio after a tower moment and i feel like it has to do with somebody that says infidelity situation i found out some y'all y'all partner was trying to ghost some damn body and they were dealing with the karmic they damn self and boom there it is but it don't be upset it's a catalytic situation to make you chase whatever it is that you're truly passionate about all right. Some of you guys could also um, have a towel moment that's actually going to bring some sort of transformation to you all. And this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well as a Capricorn, uh, Vir Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I strongly feel that some of you all are kind of in your head about moving forward and actually bringing that balance to a situation due to someone being. I feel like some of y'all got two, cho two choices, someone who you're very passionate about. And you really love this person and someone who you're financially stable with. Like you actually, you can actually deal with this person. And for Gemini, stability really fucking matters. But I feel like with the person who you're, who, who you can be stable with, you and this person, you really don't really connect. I feel like Gemini, you are evolving and this person is kind of stuck in the world. I feel like they just really focus on practical matters where you kind of focus on, you know, growing spiritually. You focus on growing mentally, emotionally. You want to travel. You want to do things and someone's stuck in their ways. And I feel like that is more so the financially stable energy that I'm getting. But this person who's passionate, they say they share the same dreams and ambitions as you. And I feel like for some of you all, this damn water sign who I was speaking about, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who you're starting slow with, that is your damn ace of cups. For some of y'all, it involves a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, okay? But I definitely feel like there's this need for you guys to make a decision. Some of you guys are just coming out of this place of resistance during this time. It's like whatever it's meant to be will be. Because for some of you all, you're really in love with this Cancer or this Pisces or this Scorpio because all of their individual cards are here. But I definitely feel like there's this movement. Gemini is definitely moving away from negative people, places, and things. Some of you guys are really moving um, away from your actual home. Some of y'all are actually having to travel for new jobs, okay? Good shit. But yeah, some of y'all are definitely moving away. And I feel like this move is going to require for you to leave someone behind. And it's kind of going to face make you face the music as well because I feel like Gemini, with this Son of Swords coming out, I feel like this person intuitively feels it coming, but you're really not communicating about it. Or if you're communicating about it, it's just like half fast, okay? But some of y'all, you have a very deceptive Leo in your energy, and I feel like you intuitively already know there's change coming to that, that particular dynamic. And I feel like it has to do with Gemini setting their damn boundaries. Some of y'all, you're really needing to trust your dreams during this time. Um, especially when it comes to reconciling with anybody, y'all dreams of y'all dreams gonna be booming this time. Y'all crown chakra is on fire as well. For those of you who practice mirror magic, I feel that you're really needing to you're needing to cleanse your altar. I'm here cleanse cleanse the energies around your altar. For those of you who practice magic, period. I'm literally somebody needs to cleanse their altar because I feel like. That your energy is kind of in a whirlwind. 
simply because it has to do with like cleansing. Yeah. Some of you guys are gonna cut off somebody's um somebody's wish to to to, to damn uh reconcile. Some of y'all like fuck no. I won't knew. I already read that old book to hell with all of that. Yeah, some of y'all are very indecisive about communicating possibly with an Aries as well. I feel like some of y'all really want to take a leap of faith, or for some of y'all just really indecision about taking a leap of faith and really chasing your passions and your desires because you're really focusing on how can you give equally to both situations. And for some of you all, you're really just gonna let have to let the universe really be the uni be who the universe is. Some of y'all gonna really have to let spirit really move in your situation and trust the process because but a lot of you guys you're really overthinking, but I don't see that you're speaking a whole lot of your truth. But in the month of January, I'm seeing the second week of January, y'all finna be real damn talkative. I feel like don't lose your temper, all right? But yeah, somebody somebody's definitely finna have a damn shit storm and it has to do with somebody getting left. All right. For some of you, this could be the father of your children. OK, for some of y'all, it's definitely an Aries, a Virgo person. For some of y'all, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, big emphasis on the Scorpio. But for some of you guys who are engaged and married, some of y'all are getting engaged. Some of y'all are breaking marriages, mar ties to marriages up. For those of you who were waiting on some type of court case to clear. I definitely feel that that will be finalized during the month of January going into the month of February. You're really going to be in this peaceful space, in this place where you're not allowing anybody to shake up your damn zen because a lot of you guys are accepting this fact that I am ending cycles. I'm going into new ones. For some of you all, it's life cycles. And I feel like allow your ancestry to help you. For those of you who are um, newer intuitive and you, want, you have some type of mediumship ability, you guys, you're really needing to embrace it do not be afraid understand that you have the control over the things that's going on in this dominion so with that said if you are afraid don't don't give the fear that power but more so embrace that ability because everybody doesn't have that gift so be grateful many your cough you were chosen but i will ask gemini for the month of january 2019 you guys what are you waiting for Make that damn move. Have them conversations. Understand what you say is not going to always make everybody happy, but that is not your part. That is their part to deal with, heal from, and actually move forward, move forward away from it. the same shit with you. Some of you guys have an issue with letting go, and there's this need for you to release that, re relinquish that fear of not being able to, able to control situations, especially if you have that damn fixed energy within your chart, which is Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Leo. Scorpio. Ironically, this fixed energy came up in here as well, all four of them individually. So I definitely feel like there's this fear of change, but there's this need for you guys to embrace and be allowing and open and just let you do, let let. Oh, how, how my how my uh how my granny? I'm gonna say it in a clean way. Let it all hang out. Show your butt naked ass. It's who you are. It's your authentic self. Gemini, you guys are not assigned to be told what to do, how to do. This is definitely a month for you to tr truly embrace your authority, authoritarian side, as well as your leadership abilities, for you guys to move forward like a damn speed and bullet towards anything and everything that you want to do. Limitlessly, fuck what everybody else got to say, because people going to talk regardless. You know, so with that, you guys, I, this is what I have for you all for the month of January. I pray that these messages resonate with many of you or all of you, but I know it does not work that way. <laughs> but you guys, I send you much love. All right. Many blessings, much prosperity, man. May God bless your finances, your family, your faith, you guys, and just keep excelling, keep moving and never feel guilty for succeeding. It's in your DNA, baby. This, it's in your destiny. Success is fated for you, but you just have to accept the calling and understand that you can't take everybody with you, period. All right? So if you need a personal reading, you guys, definitely hit me up. For those of you who like, share, and comment, thank you so much in advance. I appreciate you guys for allowing me to share my love and light with you all. You guys, welcome to the family, y'all. It's a journey, but we're going to keep it trucking. For those of you who just stuck in there with me for this whole almost year, y'all, thank you so much. I love you all so very much thank you for the love and the support y'all and again get that reading in y'all say your little say your 15 dollars the only reading that i will be doing after after january the 10th is emergency readings and there is a price difference with that okay so i love you much Mwah. much love much light namaste bye family